Vance Capley, vancecapleyart.com. And like I said, I'm taking a little break from making videos, but this one's kind of an important video. Coming to you from parts unknown, it's Vance Capley talking comics, graphic design, and art. Sit back and enjoy tonight's episode. Um, I backed this book from the Jerry Winsboro over at Pyramid Graphic Novels. And I'd got one of their books before and did a review of it. The link is down below in the description. I was completely blown away with this, uh, with the um, book I bought before. And um, it reminded me of um, the uh, this run on Daredevil that was like almost photorealistic, but done in pen. And it was just gorgeous. The artwork in that reminded me of that and the story as well. Very good stuff. So I backed this one. I had to, and it took a while for this to get done. And I know it's going to show in the artwork how cool it is. So let's crank this sucker open. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Let me open it up real quick. Get the Gemini mailer going. A little bit of tape here. Oops. All right, let's see what we have. And here it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, man. You have got to be kidding me. Oh man! Oh man! Jerry, you rock! Thank you so much, brother. This is just fantastic. He threw in extra books, man. Look at this! Oh, look at that! Oh my goodness! All right, we're gonna take a pause, take a look at this stuff, and I'll be right back. This is quite the haul. I mean, wow. And this is the book I backed. And he included this. And this is We Are Eight. Uh, number zero and number one. And this is number zero of Seek. And there's a number one coming soon. And Jerry, you're going to get my money. I mean, this is just, it's a given. So far, these look incredibly great. I have to get my reading glasses because I'm at that age now. So I'll be back in a few minutes and I'll read over these and uh, I'll let you know. But from just visuals alone, wow. But instead of reviewing the other books right now, what I'm going to focus on is the book I ordered, and that's Seek, and this is the, the Zero issue. Uh, it's an amazing story, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of this fantastic book. And if I hit anything, just let, I'll let you know ahead of time, there may be spoilers, so 
If you haven't read this book yet or plan on purchasing it, hold off on watching the rest of this video. Remember, you can go down to the links below and buy things to support what I'm doing. Thank you. But if you stick around, here we go. In this issue, um, Dr. Howard Peters, uh, a bug man, uh, like a bug man superhero, and he's he's lost his mind. And he ends up uh, killing his wife and taking a young girl hostage in a New York subway. And it's, um, you know, you have Red as the nickname. Uh, Romeo Florentino keeps calling her Red because she has red hair, I suppose. And, and or seek is what she wants to be called later on when she's being interviewed in the book by Lieutenant Linden at the police station. But there are a set of bounty hunters who go about, uh, Romeo and Red, they go about hunting down superpowered criminals. So human bounty hunters hunting down superpowered criminals. But in this case, there's a bit of a twist in the fact that Dr. Howard Peters, the bug man, he's a superhero. He's one of the members of this uh, superpower team that's very popular in New York. And this story all pretty much takes place in a, between, between the police station and the subway where the story takes place. And so, you know, just some, um, just going to go through it here. The bug man's a very, um, odd duck in the fact that he can uh, manipulate and control bugs. But before we get to that, you have Seek giving us a flashback of what happened on that day. And then we go, we cut back to the police station where we meet uh, Lieutenant Linden. And he's talking to her about the situation and how the, she should have waited until the police were able to get there. And, you know, of course she didn't. She had no option. So anyway, they have to step up. They have to stop uh, him before he kills this girl. It's gone on too long. And they have to make a decision, as she's telling the policeman. They have to make a decision. What will that decision be? And... um well, you can guess what will happen. I mean, it's you have no option. You have no option, so they have to make a decision. Will they let this kid get killed, or will it be too late, or what will happen? So I'm not going to give you any more than that. So if you've seen something or whatever, you know, I'm sorry. I try not to show anything. Uh, first off, let me talk about the book itself. The book is amazing. The artwork, it's... <sighs> With Jerry Winsboro's books, they have this, um, I don't want to say photorealistic, but I do at the same time, as you can see here, it's very real looking. But because the, the, the sketchiness of it all, it gives it a punk rock look and it really draws you into this world. The closest thing I could describe his artwork as is like that run on Daredevil. And I can't remember the name of the artist because I've said this before about Jerry's artwork, but I got to say it again. And right now, after reading this, this, this I could easily see as a TV series, like on HBO Max or Netflix or something. There is uh, foul language, so it's not for the kids. But for goodness sake, man, this is, this is outstanding work. And it's taken him a while to get it done, and I can understand why. I mean, the, the amazing detail. They, just so much detail. And I don't want to turn the page because I'll give away too much. But if you get a chance to get this book, if he puts it up on Indie Planet anytime in the near future, or if you just want to see if you can get a back copy from him or trade online, or do something, man. You've got to get this. Especially if you like crime drama, this book has that. And it, like I said, it has a very New York, it has that, that, to me, it has a punk rock feel to it. Like I should be listening to Ramones while I'm reading this. And I don't, <laughs> it's not an insult. If you know me, you know how much I like, um, the Ramones. So, you know, um, story wise, I think the story, as I said, it, 
it could easily be an HBO Max or a uh, Netflix TV series. This is good stuff. This is better than anything I've read uh, from Marvel or DC in like, well, since that long Hawkman run, that 12 issue first run, that was just like superlative. I made a review of it also. And uh, this is good. This is good. You cannot go wrong with this. And um, I'm curious to see how, okay, since this this uh, Dr. Howard Peters, the Bugman, was a superhero, will there be any retaliation from the superheroes against the bounty hunter duo of, of Seek and Romeo? That will be interesting to just to, you know, speculate on. And what, you know, what is Lieutenant Linden going to be like breathing down their throats throughout the rest of the series? You know, keeping an eye on them and stuff. This is interesting to me. It really drew me in. I was really excited. And again, fantastic artwork, fantastic book, fantastic creator. Uh, Jerry Winsboro over at Pyramid Graphic Novels, you knocked it out of the park. You wanted to know how this was? Jerry, this is awesome. Now I'll be reviewing the, um, other two books you sent me and sometime in the near future, but I had to do this video. I had to get this out because this gold brother, this is gold. So thank you so much, um, for, you know, doing this book, man, this is great. Now, um, I thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Look after one another. And I will catch you guys later down the road. I've got some more comic books I'm working on. And then, sometime this fall, I'll be back with brand new videos of fun and frivolity for all of you out there. So, um, until then, later. Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums, including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. He now has his designs here on Tee Public, old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original Tee Public designs. Make sure you visit Vance Kepley Art 1972 at teepublic.com. You'll be glad you did.